The Kansas City Chiefs have played three home games since the bye week, and they have lost all three of those. 21-17 loss to Philadelphia. 20-17 loss to Buffalo and 20-14 to against the Raiders. What is going on with the Chiefs at home? But they are going to be at home against Jake Browning and the Cincinnati Bengals. Hit the like button and leave us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying this gambling content. Tons of videos on each uh, NFL game and all your college bowl games. We have you covered at Wager Talk's YouTube channel. I am Andy Lang from wagertalk.com. Let's take a look here at the Wager Talk live odds screen. And when I'm looking at them at the time of recording, I'm seeing the Bengals getting six and a half points and the Chiefs minus six and a half at home. Total is holding a firm at 44 points. So we look at this game. I'll start with uh, Jake Browning and the Cincinnati Bengals. And uh, Browning was playing really well. He had won three games in a row. Uh, he lost to Pittsburgh. Then he beats Jacksonville, Indianapolis, and Minnesota. Two of those games go to overtime, and then he loses to Pittsburgh again. Maybe the Pittsburgh Steelers are Jake Browning's kryptonite. But I thought he played pretty well against Jacksonville and Indianapolis and Minnesota. Threw for a lot of yards in all four of his last games. The big problem last week against Pittsburgh was he had three interceptions, and the game was blown open, and Cincinnati couldn't get the running game going, and they just lost control of the game. So... Um, I'm not really sure what to take away. I lean towards kind of not really paying that much attention to that game. I mean, the the the, the game starts off Pickens catches a slant, goes 86 yards at seven nothing. Then we get another another uh, short touchdown for for the Steelers, then another touchdown and field goal, and it's 24 nothing in this in the second quarter. So the the Bengals were never in it and. You know, Jake Browning's not going to win four games in a row. But can he get in here and beat the Kansas City Chiefs? Well, I don't think they're going to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. But I do think this game is going to be pretty close. The game last week was a complete outlier for Kansas City as uh, the opposing quarterback, Aiden O'Connell, didn't have a completion after the first quarter. They get a couple defensive touchdowns. But you have a, a Chiefs team that was already low on talent at the skill position. Uh, and now we've got big-time injuries to the running back position. Jarek McKinnon, I believe, is on IR. And Isaiah Pacheco is questionable. That leaves Clyde edwards Elair as the the guy in the backfield and not exactly known as a bruising runner. Uh, he's, you know, he's kind of a change-of-pace guy. He hasn't – he's he lost the starting role to the to, to Isaiah Pacheco. So if Pacheco's out, it's Clyde edwards Elair. And now who else scares you on this Chiefs team? Travis Kelsey? Hasn't been good this year. I looked into Travis Kelsey's stats, and there's a couple of categories that are that are that are really showing what where Travis Kelsey is struggling. The biggest one is the touchdowns. He's just not getting the touchdowns this year. He only has five this year. To be on pace with what he normally has, he should have nine or ten at this point. His targets are also way down. Um, now, obviously, he missed a, a game early in the season, but his targets just aren't on pace like they were in years past. His yards aren't, aren't too bad per game, but he had, a, he had a couple nice games at the beginning of the year. He just seems to be slowing down. Now, here's a problem for Cincinnati. They are the worst team in the league against tight ends. They give up 67 yards to tight ends. That's the worst in the league. So if you're looking for props, maybe Travis Kelsey finally gets over. His total is 62 and a half, so we could look at possibly that. When I'm looking at the sides and the totals, not a strong opinion on the total of 44. I do lean under just a little bit. These the, This Chiefs team is just in very, very low-scoring games. 34 points total against the Raiders, 44 against the Patriots, 37 against Buffalo. So um, not, a, not a high-scoring team like in years past. When you look at Cincinnati, uh, 45 was a total last week and then, you know, a couple overtime games. So they've gone over this total in, uh, pretty much all of Jake Browning's starts, except the very first one against Pittsburgh. So it's not a strong place just to lean as far as the points. I really like the six and a half for the Cincinnati Bengals. I think this is a Kansas city chiefs team that I just don't trust to blow anybody out. And when you look at the Kansas city wins this year, okay. 10 against new England, uh, 14 against Las Vegas, seven uh, against Miami. That was overseas. So when they are winning, they are winning by margin. But not since the bye week 
uh, do they have really confident wins except New England and Vegas? And those are two teams that I think Cincinnati is just better than. So I like the six and a half points. It's not going to be a big wager for me because I just don't, I'm, I, I can't lay a lot on Jake Browning to go on the road and get the outright win. But I think they can keep it close. Cincinnati, I think, can have a, a little bit better running game than they did last week. They couldn't get anything going on the ground. This is a Kansas City Chiefs team. That's rushing defense is uh, it's, it's not as dominant as it was at the beginning of the year. I'm concerned about the Kansas City Chiefs offense with the lack of uh, talent at wide receiver and now with the Isaiah Pacheco and Jarek McKinnon being out. I think this is another game that they struggle to score points. So if it's a low-scoring game, those six and a half points are very, very valuable. So I'll take the Bengals plus the points. I'll take an under on the 44, but I want to reiterate, these are not really strong, confident plays. I think this game is pretty, pretty tough to handicap. If you're looking at a player prop, maybe cross your fingers and put some on Travis Kelsey to finally get over a receiving total when he's going up against the worst defense against tight ends. So uh, go ahead and hit the like button, leave a comment. And if you're interested in uh, weeks of our plays, we have a really nice promo code holiday seven. It gets you $30 off a seven day pass. We're up 112 units for 2023. We're on a really nice 35 and 15 run in the NFL six and zero in NHL. This pass will include all plays, all percentages, including our 5% NFL play that is up right now. So go grab that at wagertalk.com. Good luck. Have a great New Year's Eve. We'll see everyone next video.